irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to Question Reality with Priscilla Leona, right here on LA Talk Radio. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Question Reality, the absolute best career advice entertainment radio show. My name is Priscilla Leona. I am the producer and host, and we are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. This show is for you if you are questioning your career reality. You're sitting at that desk Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, pushing that damn pencil, mopping a floor, whatever you're doing, and you're saying, oh, God, I could be an actor. Oh, I could be a singer. Oh, I could be something more than this. That is why we have this show. If you are considering or currently pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. For nine years, our guests on this show have provided advice, tips, and resource information on how and what it takes to successfully pursue a career in a wide variety of show business jobs. The guests on our show include Emmy winners, Grammy winners, Tony Award winners, celebrity reality TV stars, the latest thing in the last 20 years, uh, producers, directors, casting directors, talent managers, agents, screenwriters, actors, singers, songwriters, comedians. We have novelists, script supervisors, stuntmen, or is it stuntmen? Stunt people, I think they're calling now. Stunt people. Um, special effects directors. We even throw in a damn entertainment attorney because hopefully if you get to the Emmy, Grammy, or Tony Award winner position, you're going to need one. So we throw them in there every once in a while. We try to avoid it, but we put them in there because you're going to need one. Um, now, what's important to note is that all of our guests have been selected because they're at different stages of their careers. Obviously, being Tony winners, Emmy winners, and Grammy winners, they're at the professional level. But we also bring in people that are down the stair steps that are going to come up the stair steps. And that goes all the way to the novice or the beginner. So that means that we will definitely have someone on this show who will be able to answer your show business career questions. Now, if if you missed any of our shows or you want to seek advice about a specific entertainment career, what you have to do is go to our archive page on the LA Talk Radio website, and that's latalkradio.com, and you search for our show title, Question Reality, or by my name, Priscilla Leona, and you can listen or download any of these shows 24 hours a day. Um, if you hit the Red Bull hot and hard, you want to hit my I show up because I tell you, we got some great guests and it's funny, some funny crap on this show over the past nine years. So uh, just look it up. I listed by the the guest name and what their specific occupation is. So, for example, we had CeCe Peniston on who was... Um, a huge Grammy Award winning star you know with that song finally I can't sing so I won't torture you but it was a huge it was my jam back in the day finally uh, you can go CC Peniston and then uh, Grammy Award winner so that's how it's listed or um, if you want to hear about uh, Michael Narada Nerat- Michael Walden who is a huge uh, producer in the music industry he produced Whitney Houston's album um uh, oh my God! My my! I just had a couple wild turkeys. I can't think. Had a couple cocktails. Who the heck did he do? He did a uh, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey. Blah 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 blah. The list goes on and on. He, you definitely want to hear his advice. So again, by his name, and then it'll be his title. So I highly advise you to uh, check out the shows because they give fantastic advice. Now, all of these shows are also available for free on iTunes. Google Play and Stitcher.com under the podcast section. And 
we have a newly designed free app. It's on the homepage of the latalkradio.com website, and it's located towards the bottom. I get emails. Where is it? I can't see it. Where is it? Well, you got to scroll, 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 scroll. It's down the bottom, and it's towards the right. So, my God, people have like five-second attention spans these days, and they can't scroll. They want the website to come up, and whatever they're looking for, no matter what it is, they want it to just pop up in your face. Well, you got to scroll a little bit. Okay. Now, finally, very exciting news. If you want to be a guest on our show or if you want to refer someone to be on the show to promote themselves, their products, and also, most importantly, help listeners with their sage career advice, we are currently booking for the fall. As you know, we're always booked six months to a year in advance. I had to stop booking a year in advance because people were going on tour and they couldn't do their interviews or they would get booked on a Broadway show. And so I said, you know what? I am just going to create a waiting list um, and I'm just going to do six months. So right now we're booking for the fall. So August, I guess that's still summer, but I don't know. It's fall to me. It's the last month of summer and the beginning of fall. So uh, August, September, October. And uh, if you want to be a guest, go to our – now, you got to go to another website. you got to go to our official website, which is questionrealityradioshow.com, questionrealityradioshow.com, and you click on the contact link, and you can submit for interview consideration. And again, that's questionrealityradioshow.com, not LA Talk Radio, because that is the radio station that airs – the shows oh my god i'm so glad i'm doing that that show introduction takes me seven minutes and i've been trying to cut it down and cut it down and cut it down i i have like some sort of add going on because i'm always trying to condense things and make it shorter and better and i change it change it but i tell you i cannot get it down shorter than seven minutes so i apologize but the seven minutes i think were well worth the value of knowledge so there you go oh, now we are moving on first of all people like to know what did i do over the weekend well I get emails. What did you do? Well, last night we went, a group of us went to see my dear friend, Jim Meskimen. Now, Jim Meskimen is a famous celebrity impersonator. He's been on America's Got Talent, Last Comic Standing, Comedy Central. I mean, you name it, anything comedian related, he's been on it. He's also very interestingly, he is the son of Marion Ross. Remember Marion Ross from Happy Days? She was Mrs. C. Well, Jim is her son and he is so talented. So we went to see him last night. Um, Also, Angela Hoover, who was also on America's Got Talent, and she does Comedy Central, et cetera, et cetera. She was there uh, as a treat. So it was so funny. Everyone was dying with laughter. I highly recommend that you check out, uh, Google him, JimMeskimen.com. He doesn't do these shows very often, very rarely, because he's so busy doing other things. But he does it once in a while, um, and they're always booked way in advance. So I highly recommend you check him out. Again, JimMeskimen.com. Okay. Oh, we've been waiting for this. I tell you, we sent out all kinds of promotions on our sites in a mass email. And I tell you, we have gotten... uh, We have gotten so many emails. As a matter of fact, I was going to do questions today, but... I want this guest to talk as much about what's going on as possible. So we're just going to keep it at my questions. I'm so sorry. But what I'll do is I'll forward the questions to him and he can answer it. And the guest today is the gorgeous, sexy, mysterious man of mystery, J.L. My God, he's a good looking man. He looks like he could play James Bond. When I saw his picture, I was like, ooh, la, la. J.L., my God, that's a handsome man. And um, he is a singer and a songwriter. And he just, very exciting, 
got a record deal with Star One Records with the label. Oh my gosh, if you don't know anything about being a musician, that is like the most exciting thing, getting picked up by a label. So again, Star One Records uh, picked him up and Jay's new debut album is called Rising Tide and it was recorded with some of the best, absolute best studio talents in New York City and Rising Tide is buzzing. It is buzzing. It is hot and heavy with high praise. And then there's a song, another song, because Rising Tide is also a song on the album. So it's called Rising Tide. There is a song, Rising Tide. And then there's another song on the album. It's called 12 on Sunday. And this has also gained a ton of local radio station airplay. And it just made the national airplay chart top 100 indie tracks and i tell you there is absolutely no end in sight on its path to the top 10 charts it's just gonna be there you're just gonna turn the radio on and it's just gonna be there on every station i just know it and the great news for our listeners today is around 5 30 now it could be 5 25 it could be 5 30 5 35 um i get tons of emails if i don't play that damn song when a musician comes on at 5 30 they're like why didn't you play it at 5 30 well i go with the flow whatever jl and i are talking about we might go into 5 35 so it's gonna play but we are not gonna tell you if it's gonna be either rising tide or 12 on Sunday. You're just going to have to tune in because you'd actually love both of these songs. But what happened was my husband and I listened to all of them. We loved them and he wanted one. I wanted the other one. So we had to flip for it. And of course, you know, I won (laughs) my show. I'm going to win. I get to choose. So, um, yeah, so either one of these songs is fantastic. They can be, the songs on his album are available everywhere right now, wherever songs are sold, like Amazon, iTunes, you name it. Or you can go to his website, which is JL, and that's J A Y E L L E 222.com. And I'm dying to find out what the 222 is. I always get curious when you have like um, uh, websites with little names or little numbers numbers on them so we'll find out i bet it's a birthday i bet you anything but we'll find out um so without further ado let's welcome jl how are you my darling sexy man well thank you priscilla i'm doing amazing and thank you so much for the lovely introduction i am red absolutely turning beet red (laughs) by all your compliments but thank you it's so sweet and thank you for having me you are so welcome, my gorgeous man. And I want to tell everyone they can go to the website right now, JL222. Um, what is 222? What does it stand for? Ah, great question. Here is the true story behind 222. I'm a Gemini. That's Woo! it. So I have this double personality uh, that's I fight with constantly. There's an argument going on every second of the day mm. and uh you know there's two of us right here standing right here two of us talking to you and that's where it came from nothing mysterious no six 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 divided by three uh, nothing you know not nah, just uh, that's it okay two 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 so, well, thank goodness you chose two 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 instead of six 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 i'd be a little concerned jay out a little concerned no you are <laughs> wrapped by one of my favorite PR guys in the business or managers in the business. Um, uh, my show is Michael. always booked by yeah. My show is always booked by talent managers or agents or people who want their clients to come on. And I tell you, Michael Stover from MTS Management Group. Oh, I'm so glad you found him, Jay. So glad because I cannot tell you this man is absolutely amazing. He yes, really. Yes. Oh my God! Uh, tell us about your experience with him. Uh, people who don't believe me, Jay's going to tell you. Yes, uh, Michael is absolutely amazing, actually. Um, Always on top of every single interview, everything that needs to be done, gentle reminders, uh, always there when you need them. It's just fabulous. And I have to say, uh, if if there is one thing that is 
absolutely playing out right now is that you need a team. You know, you can't do it by yourself. And your team members uh, just play such a great role in every step of the way, whether it's Laura, the record company, and, and everybody else she's working with, Michael. Uh, it, it's just fantastic. And that's really perhaps a difficult piece of the puzzle talking about, you know, advice to folks who are looking forward to doing much more in, in the industry than they are. Uh, seek a great team, you know. Absolutely. And hopefully you can you can put that together. Now, do I detect a slight accent? Oh, I try my best to um, what is uh, that not accent? give because away I'm a he- few I'm things. Hearing, but I'm hearing <laughs> a little Celine Dion in there. Are you French-Canadian? Well, I do have some French blood in me, yes. And uh, what happens is when I get nervous, especially with such a great host like you, oh, who has got oh. such energy and, and absolute dedication to uh, to the people you work with, it's amazing. And uh, I just, you know, return to my roots. Oh, well, you so, don't be yes, nervous. Yes. You're doing a fantastic <laughs> job, and I like that little accent. That's a little turn-on for me. I love it. Well, you know what, my, Jay, let me ask you. Um, yeah. You are, first of all, uh, I am so excited that you were, um, did you, how did you, well, I don't know how to word this question. Maybe you could help me with that. I was wondering how did you get the record deal with Star One Records? Because first of all, congratulations because it's a big, huge deal for Absolutely. you to get. Now, I've been told Jay that there are very few record labels left these days. First of all, is that true? And if so, how does the musician get? from the, quote, garage band, so to speak, to becoming uh-huh. a household name or to get booked with a, with a record label? Because I heard they're practically gone. Yes, and, and uh, you're right on all fronts and also great questions. Um, what, I, what I did, and I have to say, uh, things happen sometimes way beyond your planning or aside from any planning, but I um, just made everything that I could make happen uh, on my own with, uh, you know, sending my song 12 on Sunday out to radio stations, working that path and uh, putting together a little video and then um, send it to Laura, who um, called me back and said, hey, this is great. What else do you have? So I sent her a whole pile of songs and uh, Laura from Star One Records decided on a few that she liked and she thought it would be, you know, great to start that way. So it's spending, you know, quite a lot of time uh, connecting with as many people as possible. And so did, eventually, did you, this Jay, is how it you, played out. Sorry, Jay. You know, we got that overlap. So I never know if you stopped or started. You know how that is on the cell phone. I don't know if you of can course. hear me clearly. I apologize. Uh, but uh, so, so how did you find Star One Records? Is there so if I'm a musician, I'm like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to get my song out there. Do I go and I Google record labels, or how did you go about? Uh, I didn't start that way because I figured um, it's probably a busy road so to speak it's uh, it's a uh, it's a way that many people would uh, would follow and that may work for them i'm sure it works for for some of them uh i decided to just try to get airplay as much as possible and ra- in a video play uh so laura has a different different branches different businesses that she manages and one of them was to play videos is to play videos so i i submitted uh, to her that way and then she thought hey uh, let's talk some more about other things we could do together so i would say yes you, you can definitely send your music to whatever record company is still working out there and hopefully you'll find somebody who will listen and and like what you're sending but also don't dismiss other avenues in terms of presenting your music to just anybody you can present it to Uh, i think that's not eliminating any avenue you know 
Right. So I assume uh, Laura is the president or CEO of Star yep. Record. Okay. So okay. Fair. So how did you know? Because I know there's a lot of scam companies and scam artists, and I'm always being told by people that it's like, okay, well, submit this submission fee or do that. Sort of. How do you know the difference between, say, Star One Records, which is totally a legitimate record label, and say ABC? Oh, we don't want to say that. Um, one two. <laughs> you know, one, two, three record right. label. I'm just going, for example, uh, how would you know uh, if you were a new, you know, say a young kid or a young guy, right, how right. would you know what's legit and what's not? What do you do? Yeah, well, that's a great question. And actually, as you mentioned, um, Google can, can be very helpful or any search engine that you like. Uh, to see what kind of feedback is out there. Because uh, fortunately for all of us, uh, whether you're trying to, you know, use a product for yourself other than music, people will post their feedback. People will, will say, hey, I had a terrible experience with this. I think Yelp is sort of based a little bit on that, mm -hmm. making sure that people can rate their experiences with local stores, local businesses, uh, but certainly, it's a wonderful change in the world we live in because uh, bad record companies or certainly poor businesses or poorly managed businesses have existed as, as long as there's been businesses, right? right. Uh, but nowadays, uh, there may be a lot of competition and people can access and submit to record companies uh, easily or, or, you know, in an easier way. But uh, you can also benefit from other people's experience. So I would say uh, before you sign up anything, certainly just do your research, you know, Absolutely. see what people are saying about right. uh, the company you're, you're working with or you plan on working with. And uh, you'll get people will talk to you and you'll find comments and things mm -hmm. to pursue. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's the, one of the great things about the Internet and sharing all the information that we have with other people. That's right. On and what, one of the websites I highly recommend that I found a couple years ago is called ripoffreport.com. I'm telling you, people will report your ass if you try yep. any of that stuff. So I would go to uh, ripoffreport.com. I don't know how Better Business Bureau, if, they, if they've come – if they've come into mm, the new age of technology with posting things, and I don't know if they're allowed to, but I do know that ripoffreport.com is a great place to go. And again, Yelp. And then also a little tip, don't just go on the first page of Google. You do know that Google has tons and tons of pages. You tend to find some stuff hidden about companies. If you go like three, four, five pages deep, you would be surprise at how you end up finding things about people being ripped off by companies. So that's a little tip for you guys. Okay. Now you, it is, I wanted to say, Jay, it is refreshing to see or to hear rather an artist like yourself that does not play to the trends and isn't afraid to create like what I think is I feel by listening to your stuff, very organic music. And I tell you, this is uh, because I know that you're also a guitar player. Now, my husband's a software developer by day and he's a jazz guitarist on the weekend. So I, he is like guitar, 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 guitar. And I know you play guitar. And one of the things we talk about is how this is an electronic dominated industry. You cannot even hear any guitar these days unless you're listening to country music. It is a shame and a disgrace. It's like everything is electronically dominated. So I'm really, really excited that you're not afraid to, to bend to the trends and you're out there, you know, getting that guitar in there. So my question is, is that what you think separates you from the competition of your genre of music? Well, uh, I think yes. And, and I'm so glad you, you obviously heard it. I mean, you've got great ears based on, on the interviews I've listened on your site and they're just fantastic. Um, so, uh, yes, it, it is important, first of all, to do what you like and do it with conviction and enthusiasm and not be sort of taken on another path because you're trying to catch up with what sounds like people are 
flavoring out there on the radios or uh, that seems to be the, the sound of the moment. Uh, it's a difficult, certainly it doesn't work for me to try to catch up with these things. Uh, and I love guitar playing and I've been playing guitar uh, for a while. So it's fun and I love it. And it takes practice, which is way more work than using samples and cutting and pasting things on a computer. Uh, but hey, I made the choice. I don't regret it. Uh, but also, yes, it's important, it seems to me, to sound different, as long as you sound different because that's who you are and it's your personality coming through and your choices and your love for the music and what you do, um, you know, you can't really expect to take on something that you don't really care for just because it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, I certainly would not have played violin just because it's different and there isn't much violin right now. Uh, that's just not my instrument. But it is important to have your sound to be different. Or certainly, let's put it this way, it's important to promote your differences and accept them with whatever flaws might come with them, perhaps in, in, you know, in some ways, it's just normal. But I would say, um, this is who you are, this is what you do, go with it. Because trying to sort of mask things or... Uh, be someone you're not, in my experience, doesn't play out so well. And it's hard to sustain, you know. Uh, yeah. There are only so many things we can do. We may as well do the things perhaps we were born to do or certainly we love to do. And passing on that love, to me, is the most important thing about music. Uh, not so much to be listened to and get... Uh, you know, attention from people, but certainly, hey, you know, I love when I hear great guitar playing and, you know, what kind of piece of that can I emulate or, or share with others in the hope that they'll enjoy it, you know? I, I couldn't have said that better. And I, I, now we are almost, because, you know, I'm getting questions now. When are you going to play music? It's only 527, people. I told you, don't bug me. I was going to play it at 530. Leave me alone. We're going to hear the song. Okay. All right. So they're wanting to hear the song. So let's move. Jay, my God. It's like you're just, they're driving me crazy. All right. So let's set this up. All right. Um, it's time to play Mr. J.L., his song for one of his late, latest albums. And I'm going to ask you to tune in to me psychically, everybody. And which one do you think we're going to play? And I'm going to let you... Is it going to be 12 on Sunday or is it going to be Rising Tide? Jay, which one do you think I picked? Based on my personality, which one did I pick? Wow, that is a very difficult question. Uh huh. I know. So you're gonna have, I don't you're gonna know have that I can answer it so easily. You're, you're going to have to use your two Gemini signs to what's going to say what <laughs> Sunday, what's going to say Rising Tide, which one? Well, 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 it's, here it goes. The twins have been arguing ever since <laughs> you posed that question earlier. So I'm going to go with 12 on Sunday. Damn, you're wrong. It's Rising Tide. <laughs> <laughs> I shall take that twin and beat it up. <laughs> you know what, though? Oh, we're going to play 12 on Sunday. We're going to take the show out on 12 on Sunday. I, I was going to be a little surprised, but I'm just going to tell it now. So we're going to play Rising uh, Tide now, and then to end this uh, about 4.45 p.m., we'll, we're going to end it with 12 on Sunday. But let's just set it up real quick. We got one minute uh, before we play it. Set up the song. I want to know what. Um, influenced you to write the song what's it about tell us about the song Rising Tide what was the reason you wrote it what's it about well I was once in a relationship that just overwhelmed me and the emotions and feelings just took over and as much as I tried to act rational under certain circumstances anyway <laughs> this was not the time and it did not happen at all so the best image I could come up with to sort of convey uh, what was taking place is a rising tide. 
Um, and, um, you know, here I am on this island surrounded by all these emotions rising and about to swallow me and, and cover me and take me to sea or wherever. But uh, that's how it came about. Really? This must have been... Now, was this a long time ago, back when you were in your teen titillation days? Or was this recently? Or <laughs> now you've got me involved. Uh, it's not, it's oh. not that long ago. It's not that long ago. You know, I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm just, you know, uh, tall, an emotional redhead, person, full of love redhead. and uh, like everybody else. And, uh, you know, I get taken in and my heart gets uh, taken in and that's just what it is. But uh, I don't know if uh, I'll ever get to master that or control it, but that's OK. That's right. it's, um, it's a great feeling. That's right, because you got a great song out of it. So what the hell? Yeah. I say get out there and have another relationship like that. <laughs> so we can write some more songs. Yes. Also, this is about, so everybody, Rising Tide, it's about something we've all experienced. I mean, my God, you see a person, for me, you see a person across the room and, you know, physical yeah, let's just be honest physical attraction is the first thing come on now um, don't try to say oh my god well his soul is so be beautiful well you don't know what the hell his soul is like you see him across the room he's hot or she's hot and you're like yes that is what i'm interested in right now so um i would imagine this song is about a, a woman that you saw that you thought was attractive and the two of you got in a relationship and Things happen. Emotions run high, you know. The fever pitch yes. is going on. I mean, it everything. Sounds, sounds like you were there from the beginning. <laughs> well, this is what we all go through. And right? I don't want to get in trouble with your husband, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you kidding? He's <laughs> off. He's at a rehearsal. He's at a dark Oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> but, oh, no, I say what I want to say. I'm Irish. He doesn't control what I say. Oh, hell no. Matter of <laughs> fact, he, he, he lets me do whatever I want to do, what I say what I want to say, because it's just better if the woman is allowed to do that, of course, right? Absolutely. All right, sweetie. So, let, without further ado, let's hear this song called Rising Tide. Everybody, let's hear it. Wide away, counting craters on the moon. Seas rising, stealing the sea, naming me soon. What do you hide when that storm is raging? When the breakers are crashing It's a rising tide 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 A taste of love after taste of a lifetime So sweet, so sour in my lifetime What do you do to forget I'm waiting? What do you hide in this feeling? It's a rising tide, it's a rising tide, it's a rising tide It's a rising tide, it's a rising tide, it's a rising tide In a way, I celebrate you In my heart just can show you You and I land and I will find you Every time Carried by a rising
question. It's a rising tide. 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 It's a rising. Maybe she went for a walk. It's a rising tide. My God, that was fantastic, Jay. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for playing it. Well, you know, it sounds so modern, so relevant. You know how songs every decade, they kind of change and it has a different sound. And yes, I mean, yes. obviously the 20s, 30s. 40s. Well, this is just so now. It's like this is this very relevant and contemporary with what's going on in music. But you managed to add guitar in there. Yes. 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 And only guitar. Yes! <laughs> and nothing oh else. <laughs> You're not going to sell out. Guitar is going to be in there. It's not going to be all electronic. Well, um, we just talked briefly about what Rising Tide was about. And my question is, um, and of course, we're going to hear 12 on Sunday, and you can tell us about that right before that plays. But um, overall, what experiences uh, – most influence you with the songs you write? Do you write mostly about love? Do you write mostly about what happens in your life and other people's life, things that happen in the media? What 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 basically moves you to write your music? Uh, great question, uh, Priscilla. It's, it's a little bit of all of the above, but um, it's best for me to stick with what I live through. And yet also, you know, give a sense of the context. But sometimes I totally stray from it. Uh, and we'll talk about that uh, before we play the next song. But um, I am really interested in expressing some emotions that have, are pow powerful and, and just sort of don't leave me alone. You know what I mean? It's like... They keep nagging at me until they become a song. Uh, it's not so much that I decide, hey, uh, I'm going to write about this because I think it's interesting. It's sort of, if I decide to do that, a song may come out of it, but usually it's the reverse. It's like the emotion or the message is knocking at the door until I pay attention to it, and then it just doesn't leave me alone until it's formulated or brought together with music uh, in a way that it says, okay, we're done. And it's a really strange thing to say and try to explain, but I can't just let the guitar go. If something comes up as I practice and I hear something I like and it just keeps coming back and the next day I'll be coming back and, and until it just turns into a song and mm -hmm. more so because it keeps coming back. And the same thing with the lyrics. It's a subject that comes up and sort of just, you know, puts up a tent somewhere in my you brain and goes, I'm camping. You can't goes, contain it anymore. I've got to write it. I've got to <laughs> write about it. Now, uh, yep. Jay, let's talk about something that's very, very, very important. And I constantly try to stress this every single week and hopefully people will listen. But having a today, in today's age pursuing music acting whatever you're pursuing but having a digital social media footprint is absolutely vital 
in promoting and maintaining and pretty much advancing your career in any field, uh, you got to post on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And my God, there's so many social media sites. And it's it's very hard because um, artists want to focus on the writing and the playing the guitar and creating the art. And for some, they're they're able to do the switch and be able to get the job done and promoting and getting their digital social media footprint out there posting. Hey, I'm going to be at, you know, the La La Club this Friday at eight o'clock. Da, 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 da. And they do it on Facebook and Twitter and they they have the ability to, to switch hats. But a lot of them artists do not. And they miss out on building a fan base they miss out on people knowing that they have a new song out it's very very hard but it is absolutely vital and important to do it so specifically giving jay advice to aspiring musicians how should they target their audience and promote themselves via social media and separate from being just the musical artist how do they how do they do it uh, that's that's an amazing question, and you're absolutely right. Uh, you need to make everything available to you uh, online uh, on, and put that on your side and use it to the extent that uh, you can. Um, Instagram, for instance, people expect you to share pictures. Um, I certainly have signed up and I only have one picture. So <laughs> when it comes to sharing a lot, it doesn't happen. Uh, you look at other artists that I follow. Uh, I follow Nina Dobrev, for instance, who's a well-known <gasps> actress. Of oh course. my God, I'm obsessed right? with Nina Dobrev. Yes. Yeah, she's she's just an amazing artist yeah. and an and amazing she's actress. She's like, you know, everything she's got. But see, you know what? Those are people, and let's let's try to incorporate this into your answer too. Mm -hmm. These are people that not don't necessarily do this themselves they have a team right. they have people who do this and that's what you got to realize when you're starting out yes you're gonna have to do this yourself but it's a great habit to get into to post because you know that it's got to be done and when you get to the point where you can't do it anymore because you're so busy then that's when you get a team like michael stover and then you get like right. an assist get a social media person who does all this for you but the point is that it must be done if not then you're not doing your you're not doing everything you can for your career and you got to make sure your website is relevant and it's kept up to date and things have to be working you cannot have songs on your website where they're clicking them and they don't work then what does that make you look like unprofessional and you know people are like oh well you know if he doesn't care about his song working on his website you know, what else does he not care about? So you're you know, absolutely <laughs> correct. And uh, what happens then is, you know, I cannot like keep up with some someone who has that kind of uh, situation. But um, I think that the first thing is for me yeah, is to decide on what she is. Say what? She, she has people to do it. So what, yeah, you know, yeah. what do you do? So you don't have to have as much. Or, or be there as often necessarily, certainly in the beginning. But, uh, you know, I sleep a little less every now and then. <laughs> and, uh, and I uh, take the time to to do that. Um, and But do it with as much consistency as I can across the board so that uh, it's a little bit more organized. And I try to, you know, again, do the same thing with, uh, with that as I do with music, which is... I, I want to be enthusiastic about what I post. I don't want to just post things for the sake of posting because, um, you know, it's important for me to respect people's time, at least in my mind. Yeah. So, yes, uh, if advertising didn't work, we wouldn't see the same commercial 20 times right. within, you know, half an hour. So repeating works and repeating things make them true, as some people would tell you. Uh, but certainly there's also uh, your choice as an artist as to how you present yourself and uh, posting things that sort of convey the, a message that is not necessarily what you're about can be detrimental. So post as much as you can. Be aware of 
what you do and also be consistent. No, don't, you know, post things that could give people the wrong impression about the music. Uh, so I try to be careful with that. That's the only thing that, you know, I just watch out as much as possible is I don't want to give you the wrong impression about what you're going to listen to. Right. Simply exactly. because I want to get your attention. I just right. want to make sure that you get the message that's what I'm about. And hopefully when you get to the music, you're not sort of disappointed by what got you there. Even if it might have been a, an interesting picture, but it suggests, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, dance like, music. <laughs> exactly. You know? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely be careful. Oh, my gosh, Jay, you're not going to believe this. It is 546, and we have got to get that last song playing. So uh, right. let's, set, let's set it up um, with uh, 12 is Sunday. Now, I under, it, tell us exactly what this – first of all, before we play that song out, what is going on real quick – um, in your career, what else is coming up? What exciting things do are you are you performing? Oh, so uh, thank you for asking. Yes, yeah. um, I am now focused on completing an album. So I've been doing a lot, a lot of writing, and I'm very excited about the new songs. So that following the first EP, uh, we'll have an album coming out. I don't know exactly when, but uh, it's really exciting. I'm having a ton of fun here with folks working on that and um then we'll look at touring and uh, uh, i want to say thank you so much for having me um i have to say uh, you spend quite a lot of time in your life talking with artists and promoting what they do and that is just so selfless and and wonderful and you should get tons of awards just for that just for making yourself available and and uh, and be part of of the team. Uh, it's just been wonderful listening to you and your energy. So oh, good luck with your show. Uh, so I hope it goes on oh. forever. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you. I I hope I go on forever. Please. But instead yes, of awards, absolutely. Instead of, <laughs> instead of words, I'll just take some Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, my darling. Well, again, everybody, uh, you want to purchase uh, Jay Allen he, and support him and his music, please go to all of the music sites. His music is on um, Amazon, iTunes. You can also go to his website, J E L L. Oh, my God. J A Y E L L E 222.com. He's on Facebook. He's on Twitter. Follow him, like his stuff. He's a wonderful man, as you obviously can tell by this interview. And we're going to play the very last, last song called 12 on Sunday. Um, you got one minute. I hate to say that, but give, it, give us what the song 12 on Sunday is about. Well, this is a departure because I do not have a child. Uh, I look forward to it one day when I find a, a woman with such energy and passion as you have. That has a uh, I, <laughs> but I, I wondered what it was like or what it would be like to have a child, and in this case, a daughter who turns 12, 12 years old and has a tantrum and leaves the house. And what it must feel like to be responsible for this human being and, and the worry that comes with it and the changes in your life, in her life. So I just thought, wow, what is this experience like? And um, there, there I am. Um, and there it is. Hoping that seconds. one day I will... Uh, I will experience that. You will experience it, Mr. JL. Well, let's experience it now. This is Mr. JL's song, 12 on Sunday. We're going to see you next week on Question Reality. Say goodbye to your fans, Jay. Thank you so much, everyone. And it's been a pleasure being with you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Could be she went for a walk. Could be she needed the fresh air. Maybe that will calm her down You should see what's left of her room It wasn't the usual tantrum Then again she's turning 12 on Sunday There is no misunderstanding There is a volcano in her mind I'm no longer Superman Now I'm just an old 
Freight trains run through my head Then again she's done in twelve on Sunday I know she loves to play Her mother was the same way She'll try everything she can Priscilla Leona, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. 